Mealworms as far as the eye can see. For some gourmets, it's enough to make their mouths water. Very much, yes. They just need a bit of seasoning and preparation. Switzerland's biggest producer of edible insects is in the heart of the countryside in Canton Lucerne. Entomos is specialized in the distribution of worms, grasshoppers and crickets for feeding pet reptiles. Urs Fanger, the director, can't wait to sell them to humans as well. It's very delicious. It tastes a bit buttery. I like them most when they're dipped in chocolate or toffee. That's really super. Great. The Swiss may have delayed the decision to let people eat fried crickets, but the Germans have been at it for a while, like here at the food festival in Frankfurt. <laughs> <laughs> Three insects are offered as a kind of test of courage. Dennis Bessler will soon be selling his products in Switzerland as well, like these insect lollipops. I discovered insects when I was traveling and noticed they were tasty, that you can prepare them in a creative way. That's why about 10 years ago I started to distribute them. Now that the laws are changing in Switzerland, we'd like to have a presence there too. The UN estimates that by the year 2050, the world's growing population will only be able to meet its protein needs if people eat insects, which provide comparatively more protein than meat and are more ecological. Insects eat and drink a lot less than cattle, take up less space and produce many eggs. In Switzerland, the government will only allow three types of insects to be eaten initially. Insect specialist Jure Grunder says the selection is too limited. We know that about 2,000 species are eaten worldwide, and it's such a huge spectrum. The three that will be allowed here are valuable insects that can be produced in large quantities. But that's not all there is in the range. We could really widen the field. The government office in charge of licensing foodstuffs says the list of edible insects could be expanded in the future. We can increase this list, but there are certain requirements. We must show that they are safe to eat. We have to watch out for insects that may cause allergies. There can be cross-reacting allergies. We want to be sure we don't create new problems when we license foodstuffs. New products could include processed foods containing insects, like this mealworm spread. The new law is set to forbid these. But this hasn't stopped entrepreneurs from developing recipes. The insect lobby is convinced that a market for insects can only exist if processed products are allowed. There's a lot of potential for processed products, because consumers tend to balk at eating whole insects. We were brought up to think they're disgusting, so when you see the whole insect on a plate, you shrink from it. Uh, Studies show consumers are more inclined to eat insects when they don't look like insects at first sight. But maybe they just need time to get used to the idea of them.